Wait, hold my beer. The Game Awards are right around the corner. Let's talk about it. And now for your host, Drip Media Gaming. Okay. So the Game Awards are in about two weeks. And right now is usually the time we start hearing rumors, leaks, things that we don't quite know if they're true, if, if these are things we're actually going to see at the Game Awards or not. But this is the time when we start hearing a lot of those things. And one of those things that we've heard this year is that we are going to see a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer at the Game Awards. Not only that, but actual acknowledge of the 35th anniversary by Nintendo more than just a Game & Watch. Now, is this true? Is this something that we should expect to see? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the 35th anniversary because I think there's some things we need to discuss when it comes to that. They say this is all that we're getting, but is it really all that we've gotten? All right, so before we jump in to all the, the Game Awards stuff, all the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer stuff, I want to talk a little bit about the 35th anniversary because Nintendo told us that they were acknowledging the 35th anniversary by giving us this. The Legend of Zelda Game & Watch. Now this thing has Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Link's Awakening, it's got a couple other things on it. I mean, it is really cool. I do like it. Uh, I'd like it a little bit better than the Mario one. It's got the little glowing Triforce on the back. It's pretty cool. But I, I kind of got to thinking the other day, and we, we talked about this a little bit on stream, they've put out a lot of Zelda stuff this year. Let's go back and actually look at all this stuff just really quickly. Skyward Sword HD, we got that. Which, you know, okay, Nintendo's already said they want to put out a Zelda game every year. That's fine, that's just business as usual, right? We also got the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons, which are amazing, they're right here. We got these bad boys as well. So now we've got a game, we've got Joy-Cons, We've got a Game & Watch, but we also, we also, also, we also got an Amiibo. So right there's four Zelda things just with those. The other stuff we got, and you can count it if you want or not, but technically, we got Ocarina of Time on the Switch. Yes, it's with the Nintendo 64 upgrade for the online service, and we're not even going there, so just... <laughs> just calm down. But we do have Ocarina of Time, and we've got Majora's Mask, on the way. I would say with all this, even if they don't announce anything else at the Game Awards, this is a pretty good year for Zelda. And I did put out a video a while ago, which I'll link up here for you guys to check out, but I still believe that the next Zelda game we play on Switch will not be Breath of the Wild 2. I do think there's going to be something between Breath of the Wild 2 and now. What that's gonna be, I get into in that video we're gonna touch on later, but I just wanted to touch on this 35th anniversary thing because even though they haven't technically addressed it as 35th anniversary stuff, we still did get a pretty good amount of stuff for Zelda's 35th anniversary. Now moving on to the Game Awards. This is a very, very interesting topic. And the way that we've come to this this whole rumor or leak or whatever you want to call it is also, it's very strange. We're gonna get into it here. But let's, let's talk about the history of Zelda and the Game Awards. We've seen a lot of Zelda stuff be announced, shown at the Game Awards. We saw the original Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, the original version of the game. We saw that at the Game Awards. I think the last thing we saw from Zelda at the Game Awards was the announcement of the DLC for Breath of the Wild. So, I mean, the Game Awards, Zelda, they, they, they do go hand in hand. It has been a while. Smash has kind of taken over that that mantle a little bit. But hey, you can look at the Game Awards two years ago and Nintendo just didn't even show up. I think they may have had one trailer in the very beginning, uh, the very beginning of the show, and I, I'm pretty sure it was DLC for uh, Ultimate Alliance 3, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong on that. If I am, let me know in the comments below. But that was the only thing they had that year, and I think that was, what, 2019? So while, yes, they, they've done a lot of stuff there, we really don't know what they're gonna do. So a lot of this started with a tweet from Jeff Keighley. If you don't know who he is, he's the guy who runs the Game Awards. He's the guy who puts this show on every year. He said, and I don't have the tweet in front of me, but I'll probably put it up here so you guys can see it, but he essentially said that he's been working on this, this world premiere with whoever this is for two years. He's very excited. It's gonna be a huge thing, and a lot of people just seem to just assume that that means it's Nintendo, it's Breath of the Wild 2. Now, I've, I've, got, I've got some problems with a lot of this already. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but in, in his tweet he says he's talking about a world premiere. Now, again, I could be wrong, but to me, and the way that I've seen it when, when they announce things on his shows, when they call them world premieres, it's usually something we've never seen, not something we already know about and a second trailer of. So for me, Breath of the Wild 2, 
at that point is completely ruled out. We've already seen a tra- we've seen two trailers at this point. No, we don't have a name, we don't have a date, but I still don't think that's considered a world premiere, is it? So I think in that sense, there's a, there's a lot of reaching going on here, you know? But then you've got, you've got these other tweets from, you know, leakers, and again, you guys know, I've said this several times in other videos, and you know, not, not starting any beef with anybody out there, any leakers, whoever, whatever. I think even they would agree that you, you can't take their word as gospel. They may or may not have the information, they may have old information that they haven't been updated on. This stuff changes all the time, especially in the times we're living in right now, the way that everything's gone, things can change on a dime. So. You know, the information that these leakers give us, well, I, I feel like in years previous to all of this, we're a little more accurate, but now it's 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 all become a lot more spotty just because I think so many things change so quickly. But if you follow anything about leakers on Twitter, you guys have probably heard of Samus Hunter. Samus Hunter said something in another tweet, which I'll also put up here, about the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary continuing at the Game Awards, which I think is possible. I think it's possible. I don't think we're getting a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, to be honest. I don't want to burst anybody's bubble out there, but I don't think that's coming because I don't think that's what the next thing is. Now, Samus Hunter said in another tweet, they think this could be a concert dedicated to the entire series. Uh, also thinking Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, I don't believe that. Could happen, you know, I don't know either. Then they go on to say, uh, collaborations with other games, which could mean something like what we got with Cadence of Hyrule. That was cool. I'd love to see more stuff like that with Zelda. Very possible, but I don't feel like that's a Game Awards announcement, really. That's, that's, I don't know if that's quite big enough to be put on a stage like that. Maybe, depending on who they're collaborating with. Again, I don't know. But then that's kind of where we get into the speculation of what could it be? If we do see something Zelda, I don't think this world premiere thing is anything to do with Zelda, honestly. I'm not even sure if it has anything to do with Nintendo. I keep hearing now people talking about a, a Metroid Prime remake, which, I mean, I would be totally down for that if that's what it is. I don't see that being it either. It's probably something from Microsoft or Sony, to be honest. That's probably what it's gonna be. But that also doesn't mean that we couldn't see something, something Zelda at the Game Awards. Now, let's go ahead and talk about, again, what could that be? We already know several things that it could be. The HD ports from the Wii U, I think, even though, again, Samus Hunter said in another tweet, not likely, I, I kind of disagree with that. I think of anything that it could be Zelda related, that's probably one of the most likely things, just because of how easy it is to actually port games from the Wii U to the Switch. I learned this a while back uh, in a podcast, actually. It only takes them a few months to port something from the Wii U to the Switch. And if you're talking about a Zelda game, you're probably giving it to somebody like Grezzo. Nintendo's main Zelda team probably isn't even having to worry about this. So it's not like it's taking anything away from the main development of Breath of the Wild 2. Wouldn't worry about that. I think, honestly, it really possibly could be those two games. The only reason I think it may not be is because we literally just got an HD remake of Skyward Sword on the Switch. I don't know if Nintendo's just gonna be like, here's another HD remake and then another HD remake. I think maybe, maybe it might be something different, but honestly, besides Breath of the Wild 2, those two games, I mean, really the only other possibilities would be HD remakes. I mean, maybe something like Ocarina of Time HD remake, something along those lines. Again, I don't think it's a spinoff, but it could be a spinoff or collaboration with another, another game like we saw with Cadence of Hyrule. Who knows? But the Game Awards are, very, very close. They're coming up very soon. So we're going to find out, and I'm sure we're probably going to hear more leaks, rumors. My advice with all this stuff would be just keep your expectations in check. Let, let's not blow this out of proportion and, and, you know, get so excited for Zelda stuff at the Game Awards and then get nothing and be disappointed. Because as of right now, we don't know anything for sure. But what we do know for sure is that this podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions.